Due to his accusing of cheating with tech somewhere hidden in his body was fully metal detected with a metal detecting wand before the match. To my knowledge, I do not like I, I do not think that Magnus accused someone of having a like I do think he's accusing him of cheating, but I don't think he said how he was cheating. So your your how thing is uh isn't the how thing just speculation from I uh, did it. the public? Two years. Yar. Thank you, Yarface, for the two years, and thanks for the 24. I appreciate it. Enjoy your lightning ring sunglasses. He had an opener he's never played before, and Hans apparently studied up on that exact opening day of. Oh. He's being a crybaby about it. He wasn't cheating. There's a technology that can give you clicks like Morse code that will tell you what to play. That's the most common accusation. And the dude was fully metal wanted beforehand. Yeah, see, I, I just feel like your argument is not, like, against Magnus. It's against... You, you're saying it's, like, the most common accusation from the public, right? So that's not, that's not what Magnus said. As far as I know, Magnus hasn't said how he's cheating. One. I mean, sure, I fully believe what the public says is like, that's anyone's game. So who knows what the public is saying? Got metal in my veins. Heavy metal. But uh, until Magnus says why he thinks the other guy's cheating. I'll hold my opinion on the topic. Because I don't think he's ever said anything himself. In regards to how. June commits identity theft. Uh, you're gonna have to link that uh, after this game then. Can't tab out right now. Moist has a great video on it. Well, maybe I'll check that out sometime. Maybe if we have time in queue. Moist as in Moist Critical? Is Moist Critical like a chess legend? Seems like a chess god. Oh, penguins. Okay, I, I have no idea who that is. Who that? I am all over it. He just gives his opinion on everything. We're talking about Moist Critical though, right? <laughs> like I don't I, I literally don't know who Penguins is. No idea who that is. Select a talent. Oh that is Oh, that is that guy. Okay. Okay, okay. Wait, why do people call him Penguins if his name is Moist Critical? Weird I don't watch him at all. Maybe I'll go over train this game. Oh, that's his thing from YouTube. Okay, that makes more sense. Hello, I'm impressed. 
Well, anyways, I haven't followed the situation too much, so I'm not sure for sure. But from what I have heard, yeah, there's like no, like uh, no known way about how the other guy could have cheated. I, I have heard that. But I've also heard that the other guy has a track record of cheating. The other guy has cheated in the past before. And in multiple occasions. So that's that's basically the extent. And I know Magnus has been the best player in the world. Potentially of all time. Previous to, you know, these two meetings. So that's, that's basically all the information I'm working off of. And based off of that information, I'm not saying the guy is cheating. But I certainly would uh, definitely respect Magnus's opinion and at least heavily look into it based off of that information. I'm a firm believer of once a cheater, always a cheater. I'm, I very much believe you do not change. If you're willing to cheat once, you are willing to cheat again. For anyone. Not saying he did, though. Like, maybe he did. Sounding like Chuck McGill? Oh, I don't know who that is. I'm not saying the guy did cheat, to be clear, you know. I'm just saying... I would not brush off the opinion of the best player in the world super lightly like uh, I feel like uh, some other people are. What about Ghosty? He stopped, I think. I'm not saying people that cheat once will always cheat no matter what. Yeah, I think you guys are misunderstanding. I'm not saying he did cheat. I, I'm just talking about the motive. If you are willing to cheat once, you would be willing to cheat again. That does not mean you are going to cheat again. But I fully believe anyone that's cheated once is willing to cheat again in the right circumstances. Doesn't mean you do. But it means you could, you know? If that makes sense, or you're willing to at the very least. It's not an impossibility. Doesn't mean it happened 100%, just means it's not 0%. That's what I'm saying. And of course it's not true for everyone, there are there may be some people, like there might be like a very small percentage of people that are truly reformed. Everyone's different. But I believe for the vast majority that is the case. Hmm. How many Mosh interrupts? One, two, wow that's very little. Oh Mosh. Killing spree. You think that kind of thing depends on stakes? Yeah, exactly. Someone in chat said they once cheated uh, and they're not proud of it and they hate map hackers now or cheaters now. I mean, sure. But like, the, you know, the difference is stakes, right? Like if you could, if, if someone offered to you this day and you could be the best StarCraft player in the world today or, or you know, it's about extreme stakes. Of course you hate map hackers now, but what if your life was on the line? What if you playing Squid Game, you know, all of a sudden, and you could win by cheating? Would you not cheat then? It's all about stakes, you know. Even if you hate cheaters now, it's... Uh, I think it depends on what stakes you're facing. Short rib. You know, flank. Depends on the stakes. Beef. Kobe. Yeah, that's it's kind of true for everyone. Everyone's got a limit.
Uh oh. Wait a minute. Oh wait, I have a... I have this baby! Oh, you didn't think about that, did you? Well sledged! I'm out, baby. Gorge down. The Great Escape. Get away from my friend. A lot of cheaters feel bad about getting caught more than the act itself. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If if you're already if you've already cheated once, then it's kind of like, you know, it's it's just a bad track record. Your track record is already against you. You already proved once that you're willing to do it. And you almost always if you're willing to do it once, you're willing to do it again. Especially if there's big stakes. And I, I feel like, and I have like very little knowledge on this matter. So I, you know, I'm once again, I'm, I'm not saying this guy did cheat. I'm just, I'm literally not informed enough on this to know everything. But from what I know, which is like the four bullet points I gave you guys, right? Best player in the world accusing someone else of cheating. Didn't say how yet. Other guy has a, has cheated in the past. But also, they can't figure out how he would possibly have cheated. Like, that, that is all I know. From that, I, I would still definitely respect Magnus' opinion. And at least hear him out. Zerg eliminated. Field research is so exciting, they said. Huh. I'll show them some excitement. Oh, that could be bad. Yeah, it might be time to leave. Uh oh. This guy has last rights. Wow, he didn't use it forever. Goodbye. Two for one, though. I'll take it. The fact that he hasn't said anything alludes to the fact that he does not have any idea how the guy cheated. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, there's a very good chance he has no idea how. If, if he even did so. I'm just saying, I guess I'm, I'm, I, I don't know. I feel like this is very, you know, I feel very relatable to this situation. Like being one of the best in the world at something for a, any extended period of time. And that something is a game. It just feels like a very relatable situation for me. So I, I'm coming at it from more of a intuition angle, I think. Whereas the general public might be coming from a just factual standpoint. I, and I can totally understand from a factual standpoint, you can't figure out how he cheated, he didn't cheat. Like, that's fine. That makes perfect sense. But for me, it's just like, like I told you, I know what it takes to be one of the best in the world. And I know what type of person it takes. And if you're that type of person, you would not make these kind of accusations lightly. Very unlikely that he's just salty and he made an accusation, you know, I just, I just can't believe that that type of person would just randomly accuse someone just because he's salty at a loss. Recruiting these mercenaries would be wise. You were a professional athlete? That's not what I'm talking about. Were you the best of all time? Are you, or at least the best, you know, let's say like, like the best in your region. I don't know what you mean by professional athlete, but what sport was it? And exactly what were you doing? Were you the best in the world at what you were doing? 
or you know, top top ten in the world at what you were doing. You were goalie in hockey, okay. So yeah, like, really? You did you play in like the big hockey leagues? I didn't know. That's pretty cool if you did. I don't even know what the biggest hockey league is. What is the biggest hockey league? Is just National Hockey League or something? NHL? Oh, that's cool. But yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible. You could be right. Like, there's a chance. There's there's a chance. It's just human, you know. What's it called? Is it, there's a chance it's just he's just salt. It's not impossible. But you seem to believe it's definitely the case that he's salty. I do not believe it's definitely the case. I would be much more willing to hear him out. I guess that's the difference. The incoming Zerg rush is technically smaller than the one headed for our enemy, but it's still an incoming Zerg rush. Wait a minute. Light bomb on Mosh, Pago. Double stun? We'll take it. Echo pedal main tank? Yeah, Echo pedal is probably not the best talent here. I'm used to taking it though, because no one ever soaks, you know? But yeah, one of the other ones is probably better. Here. Not that it matters much. I'm getting dodge points too. I'm getting so many points, man. Ay, ay, ay. You played for the Binghampton Senators, which is now the Wilkie Baron Scranton Knights, which is in a hockey league, which would make you top 60 in the world at that point. You had to stop because you got sick. Okay, I don't know anything about hockey, so I cannot really check this, uh, but I'm. Maybe people in chat know more about hockey. Wait, so you're saying you played for a team in the North America Hockey League, right? And that made you top 60 in the world? Is North America like the best hockey teams in the world? What about the rest of the world? Is North America just better? I guess that would make sense if North America was best. But I don't have any idea. I don't watch hockey. Second best league in the country. Okay, so you paid, played for the second best league in the country. Wait, second best league? What does that mean? So there was another league that was better? It was There was like another league above it? I'm so confused. Okay. Oh, I see. So, so there, it's the it's the league right under the biggest league. Okay, okay. I mean, I believe you. I believe like you had a very promising future as a hockey player, but I don't think that's close to best of all in the world. I don't. I don't think that's like quite comparable. I see what you're saying though. Like, I I can believe you were on the track to be one of the best in the world, but I I don't think that would be the same. Like, there's a difference between best in the world for, a, you know, especially for, like, long periods of time 
literally the best in the world and like on tr you know on track to be one of the be best like this would not be like you're you know in the second best league this would be like you are in the best league on the best team or like the top two teams for a very long time there's still like a, some kind of gap there so i see what you're saying but that's not exactly what i'm 